finally, at long last, use two WeDo USB hubs with Scratch. Tips for organizing Scratch and SPOT. Align the icons together, copy a template file, and a folder shortcut. Copy the basic template file for Scratch from the subfolder as shown for easy access to the desktop. Now you know where to find it whenever you need it. Next, right click on the Revolution folder name and create a shortcut to the desktop. We have to click on the Revolution Education folder icon, go down to S2Bot and execute the S2Bot EXE, which is the program that connects to the two WeDo hubs. Select WeDo from the drop down menu. Down here it says not connected to WeDo, so we simply connect. Here's the template for the new Scratch project. They default to the WeDo template SV2, which they find in their own directory. No need to worry. And we connect, and we see that we have under ID A, B, C, and D, we have motor, the distance sensor, motor, and a tilt sensor. And you can check to see if they're working. So I'm going to move the tilt sensors. Here I go forward, backward, right, left, the distance sensor. I can move my hand in and out, and you see that the distance sensor is changing. The motors, you can, uh, you can check how they work by pressing on test, and then you can just turn one motor on, off, second motor on, and off. Sometimes the second motor on and off doesn't work, it just depends how it's connected on the hubs. So I'm sure they'll correct this later on. Anyway, this is all you need to do, then you minimize this window. You close the folder, execute the scratch. Now, when you're creating a new program, you have to open the template. So go File Open. We're going to go to our desktop. And I have the template on the desktop, which is right here. The WeDo X2 template SV2. Open that and we're ready to go. If you look under the mold box, more blocks, you'll see that they have all the motor and the sensor information there. Now here you have sensor A, B, C, and D. Of course we only have two sensors connected and if you recall which ones they were on the uh, screen from the S2Bot executable file that connected to the WeDo hubs Here I show how two hubs are connected to the computer. Now it's time to test the program for the cheering fans and the jumping alligator. final demonstration of how the alligator and the fans work together at the same time using the two hubs connected to a computer. The next segment will show the construction crane and forklift operating from the two USB hubs. Now I can click on a program that I've previously stored to run Scratch and since the S2Bot template has been already been stored in the program I don't have to reload that either. The program is for the crane and the forklift. The crane will lift the load, it will swing over, deposit the load onto the forklift. The forklift will then raise the load and move it over and store it at a different spot on the table.
right forklift driver. Take it away. As you can see, the program, the two hubs, the two motors, the two sensors are working together very well. So, what can you do with two WeDo hubs and Scratch? Thank you for watching another Brickaneers video.